we're going to find the acceleration of the system using net torque equations. So let's start off with the 4 kilogram block. First you need to draw the free body diagram. So we have tension going up, force of gravity going down, and our acceleration is going to be down. So our net force equation, since it's moving linearly, is going to be Fg minus T equals Ma. Now one thing that's different from previous times, each torque is going to be different on either side of the pulley, so we have to specify which torque is which. So here we have Fg minus T4 equals Ma. Uh, we're going to need this later, so I'll go ahead and solve for T4. Okay. Now let's look at the 2 kilogram object. Again, we have force of gravity going down. We'll call this T2 going up, and it's going to be accelerating up. So our net force equation T2 minus Fg equals Ma. Rearranging, solving for T2 because we're going to need it later. We're going to have Ma plus Fg. Now let's look at the pulley. So our pulley is going to be rotating this way, just based on the direction everything else is moving. We have two forces acting on this pulley. We have T4 going this way and T2 going this way. Now, just like with forces, we say the direction of acceleration is positive. Here we say the direction of rotation is positive. And we're setting our torques equal. Um, so our net torque equation, we have two equations for torque. FL equals I alpha. Those are our two equations for torque. So we're going to set those equal. Now our F is going to be our net force, which in this case is T4 minus T2. Remember the direction of rotation is positive. Our lever arm, the distance from the axis of rotation, is going to be the radius of our pulley. The I for a disc, you can look that up, is 1 half mr squared. And alpha, we're looking for A, we're not looking for alpha in this problem. So let's substitute for alpha and say that that is A over R. We can cancel some stuff out here to make things simpler. We'll cross out one R, and we'll cross out the other R. So we end up with T4 minus T2 equals one half M A. The three equations we have so far, T4 equals M4G minus M4A. T2 equals M2A plus M2G, and for the pulley, T4 minus T2 equals one half the mass of the pulley times A. Now let's combine all of those. So if we do that, we get M4G minus M4A minus stuff for T2. equals one half the mass of the pulley times our acceleration. Now if we solve for acceleration and plug in all of our numbers you get 2.8 meters per second squared. 